Hello my friends, for today's beer review we're going to be taking a look at Sierra Nevada's 2014 release of Bigfoot Barley Wine Styled Ale. Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale is um, a once a year brew that Sierra Nevada does. This is considered to be one of their most sought after um, and it's something where you can buy it from each year and watch as the flavor develops and how their brew changes from year to year. So this will be the 2014 release. Um, as far as an ABV goes on this beer, we are looking at 9.6% alcohol, so quite high. Definitely want to watch yourself while drinking these. Um, this will be actually my first time with a barley wine. Um, from what I was told um, from a friend of mine, with barley wine, it's not really comparable to any other style or type of beer, and that a barley wine is kind of in its own league. Um, we're going to find out if that's true or not today. So, without further ado, I'm going to get the cap off of this, and I'm going to open this one very carefully because I want to save the lid. We're going to be drinking this today out of my favorite. Duvel snifter glass because this is probably going to have some incredible aromas on it. So this is supposed to be a real privilege and a real treat. So let's find out and give it a pour. Straight out of the bottle, it's a very dark brown. Let's see if we can get a head on this. Oh yes. Very nice. Pours to an easy two finger of um, kind of a golden honey colored head and the color is really interesting up into the light it's a extremely dark mahogany almost um, the head has a really interesting look it has a yellow tinge to it that you know I've never seen before in a beer looks extremely good in the glass so let's get a nose and see how it smells very large hop present obviously because of it being a barley wine but there are some more savory sweet notes there than just hops I'm picking up on big notes of honey in this maybe really light touches of caramel And even some um, sweet fruits like uh, mango, peach, things like that I'm picking up on, which is really interesting. And they're more syrupy. It's kind of like a peach syrup or a mango syrup, if you can imagine that. Let me read the back of the bottle here and let this breathe in the glass for a second. It says, Bigfoot is a beast of a beer brimming with flavor from massive amounts of roasted malt and spicy hops and brewed in the barley wine style with a rich bittersweet body and whole cone Pacific Northwest hops. Interesting. Yeah, the more I smell this, the more those hops are starting to smell almost like mangoes or peaches. No joke. Never smelled anything like that from a beer before, but then again, this is my first time with a barley wine as well. Hops, mango, peaches, honey, and light touch of caramel. Smells absolutely delicious. Let's give it a taste and see if this beer has a reason to be so sought after. Wow. There's a lot going on with this beer. Extremely complex, very strong in the flavor. It really just kind of gives you a punch when you drink it. Oh my god, it's still developing. It's going to take me a minute to pick this one apart. immediately up front you have a malty sweetness quickly followed by sweet mangoes and peaches right past that you get a very hoppy bitterness 
and strangely, a light smokiness on the very back of the tongue, well into the development at the very end. Right now, I'm gonna call this a long finish. It almost has that. Um, if you've ever drank um, Super Bock beer, or perhaps say, um, it's 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 inter it's very good. The smoky, it's almost like a meaty smokiness. And I know that sounds strange to pair with something like mango or um, peach and the like, but um, as far as flavor development goes, this reminds me of Dogfish Head's Midas Tut. It's like boom, 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 boom. You get all these flavors as it goes across the tongue. Very complex. And there's a good alcohol burn with it, too. But, strangely enough, it does not taste very alcoholic. The head has dissipated down to just a um, film, which is to be expected with its high ABV. Malty stout style sweetness. Mangoes and peaches. Hoppy bitterness. Hoppy bitterness. And then just a little bit of smoke. That's the weirdest thing, but it's that's what it tastes like to me. And um, that's delicious. Interesting. Never had anything like this before. Um, I wish I could have had um, other releases of this so I'd have something to compare it to. But uh, I'll say Sierra Nevada is doing something damn well right because this is delicious. That's great. That is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so time for a rating. I wish I had other barley wines to um, compare this to, because I guess right now I'm making a, a kind of uneducated um, rating here. There could be barley wines that are amazing compared to this. This could be the best bar barley wine I've ever drank. I'm going to say just as a beer, it's an A beer. It gets a it gets a nine point five out of ten. This is delicious, really good. It's so complex. It's heavy though. So yeah, just to run through those flavors. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're gonna get very rich malty sweetness, like with a strong stout that immediately lends way to fruits. Um, and these fruits are things like um, mangoes, peaches, um, those are the two big ones standing out. Immediately after that you get an intense hoppy bitterness which is good because that rounds off the sweetness from the malty start and that kind of peachy mangoey sweetness. Then you get that hot bitterness to round that off. And then after it's sat in the mouth it has the longest development of any beer I've ever tasted because after it sits in your mouth and you've swallowed and you're done I'm talking like a good solid five seconds after you've swallowed this smokiness develops on the back of the tongue um, unlike anything I've had before so there you guys go mind-blowingly good 9.5 out of 10 Sierra Nevada's 2014 release of Bigfoot barley wine style ale I see why this is so sought after now I see why um, people um, look after these bottles. I have another three bottles of this. I'm probably going to let them sit back and uh, age for a while with an ABV that big. You can sell her these for quite a while. I'm going to do that and maybe we'll revisit this in a year or two and see how it's developed. But anyway, for now, delicious. 9.5 out of 10. Sierra Nevada really did a good job on this beer. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and stay tuned for my next beer review.